Hello everyone. In the last session, we have discussed one of the carrier sense multiple access methods, which is carrier sense multiple access collision detection. Now we are going to see the carrier sense multiple access collision avoidance. In the carrier sense multiple access collision avoidance, the communication is totally dependent on the acknowledgement, which means that if sender is sending any data, it will wait for acknowledgement from the receiver in order to confirm the transmission. So if sender is not getting any acknowledgement from the receiver, so there is a possibility that there is collision in network. So the question is, why we are using acknowledgement in the carrier sense multiple access collision avoidance? So the question is, why we require acknowledgement? The carrier sense multiple access collision avoidance is used in wireless network and the carrier sense multiple access collision detection is used in wired network. So in the wired network, when two signals are collided with each other, there is drastic change in its energy level. So from the drastic change in energy level, the receiver will know that there is collision in network because the voltage level of the signal is changed dramatically. But in the case of wireless network, the energy level of the received signal is only 5 to 10 percent. And from that energy level, the receiver is not able to know whether there is collision or not. So that is why the communication is totally dependent on acknowledgement. Now let's see the steps for CSMSE. In order to send data, the sender has to follow these five steps. Let's try to understand with example. Suppose there are four devices A, B, C and D. And if these four devices want to send any data, each device has to follow these five steps. Suppose right now the device A wants to send data. So in the first step, device A will sense the channel to check whether the channel is busy or idle. Suppose the channel is idle, so A will wait for some time which is called IFS time. IFS means interframe space. The time after the IFS time is divided into n number of slots. And from n slots, A will select random number of slots. A, after selecting the random number of slots, A will wait for some time. And after waiting some time, A will send the frame and it will wait for acknowledgement. And if the acknowledgement is received, means the communication was successful and if there is no acknowledgement is received means there is failure. Now let's say timing in CSMA CA. Suppose device A wants to send any data so it will first sense the channel. If it finds that the channel is busy it will again sense the channel. It will continuously sense the channel till the channel is busy. And when A finds that the channel is idle, A will wait for IFS time. The time after the IFS time is divided into n number of slots. And this time is called contention window. So from this n slots, device A will select random number of slots. So there is a possibility that A can select 2 slots or it can select 6 slots or it can select 4 slots. 
and after selecting our slots it will wait for that much time and it will send the frame and after sending the frame it will wait for acknowledgement if the acknowledgement is received means that the communication is successful and if there is no acknowledgement means that there is collision in network and A has to send the data again. Now let's see the flowchart of the CSMSEA. Suppose device A wants to send data. So to send data, device A has to follow some steps. In the first step, the value of the k will be 0 for device A. Now what is the meaning of k? k means number of attempts. So in the initial stage, the value of the k is 0 for device A. And the maximum value of k is 15, which means that each device can take maximum 15 attempts if it wants to send any data. Now in the next step, A will send the channel and it will check whether the channel is busy or idle. Suppose after sensing the channel, suppose after sensing the channel, A finds that channel is not idle, so A will continuously sense the channel until it becomes idle. So right now the channel is busy so A will continuously sense the channel until it becomes idle. When channel becomes idle, A will wait for some fixed time which is called IFS time. The time after the IFS time is divided into n number of slots. So after waiting for IFS time, A will again sense the channel to check whether it's still idle or not. Suppose A finds that the channel is not idle, so A will keep sensing the channel until it becomes idle. So whole process will be repeated again. Suppose after IFS time, a sends the channel and it finds that the channel is idle so the value of R will be selected between 0 to 2 raised to k minus 1. So as you can see value of k for device A is 0. So from that value of R is 0 to 2 raised to 0 minus 1. We are getting only one value for R. It means that after waiting for IFS time, device A will wait for 0 slots and it will send the frame. Now the frame is sent, so device A will wait for acknowledgement. If the acknowledgement is received, means the communication is successful. But what if the acknowledgement is not received? So value of k will be increased by 1. So now the value of k becomes 1. So in this case the 1 is not greater than 15. So a will take one more attempt. Again it will check whether the channel is idle or not. When the channel is idle, it will wait for R slots and for waiting R slots, it will select value of R between 0 to 2 raised to k minus 1. And now it will get 2 raised to 1 minus 1 means 0 to 1. So value of R is 0 to 1. Suppose uh, A is selecting R equal to 1 means that A will wait for one slot and after waiting for one slot it will send the frame, wait for acknowledgement, if received then successful, if not then value of K will be incremented. 
and value of k will be incremented until it becomes 15. After 15, it will start from all over again. So this is it for the carrier sense multiplexes collision avoidance. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much.